Uh, in July of this year, um, we were alerted by members of the public to uh, a male who um, claimed to have a, a, a bomb under his bed. Um, so uh, our uniform colleagues uh, attended that address uh, to check that out, um, as we will follow up any of these uh, uh, calls. Um, and, and sure enough, that's what we found, uh, bomb making equipment uh, and, and uh, viable explosive devices as well as a large, num a large arsenal of, uh, of weapons. Uh, in, in this case, Matthew Glynn, we looked at, uh, uh, at what potentially was, w were his motivating factors. Uh, we did find some right-wing um, material on his um, uh, social media. Uh, we asked him questions about that. Um, he stated that uh, he did hold these views up until approximately two years uh, earlier uh, and, and no longer held these, these views. Um, we could find nothing else in his social media uh, um, that, that suggested he, that he'd carried on expressing right-wing views. I don't know how long before, um, sort of two and a half years ago now, he, he, would, he would have held these views. Uh, however, in an interview he was asked about the age of the, uh, the, the, the social media posts uh, and he um, told us that uh, he held these views up until around about two years ago, but now felt that these views were wrong and disgusting. Uh, and when questioned about about that, he um, uh, said that a woman had uh, inf had um, corrected his thinking. Uh, we've never identified that woman. We've never spoken to her. Matthew had a, an extensive um, collection of knives, uh, axes, and swords, um, blades. Um, the probably the most horrific of these is. Um, uh, something that's been described as a, a, a wrist knife, um, which is like a gauntlet with four very sharp blades coming off um, that you would hold uh, with, a, with a fist uh, and, f and have four knives coming off the top of your hand, basically. Um, I've never seen one of those before. Um, I understand it was purchased on the, uh, through, on, on the internet. Um, and yes, it's a, it's a horrific piece of equipment. I think... Uh, with this particular case, um, these, these, uh, the, the member of the public that, that rang us was concerned enough. However, um, as I've said, you know, Matthew Glynn was a very private person, kept himself to himself. Um, the, we don't police the internet, um, and, and so you know, that, that, that sort of thing isn't readily available to us.